more pressure packed than this. The decisive game at the Euros with everything on the line. Which country will be crowned champions of Europe? It's going to be fascinating finding out. We're live on EA TV. And this is the game we've all been waiting for. The final itself here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. I'm Derek Ray sitting high above the halfway line. And next to me, ready to provide expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. This should be fiercely contested. It's Spain against England. Well, Derek, I'm really excited by these two teams. There are some top-class players all over the pitch and some really good matchups. This could be a great Let's hope so. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw-in it'll be. Here's the lineup for Spain. Danny Olmo plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield and the main striker today is Morata the England first 11 Jordan Pickford is the keeper Kyle Walker plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks and the focal point in attack today Harry Kane Well, Danny Ormo, highly talented and also determined out there on the pitch. What might we see from him in this match? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. It's a corner. And deciding to go short with this one. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Rodri. On to Morata. Good work from England to win it back. Can he find the right pass? disappointing end to the move after the foul a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick well not the best effort we've ever seen Stuart well I think it's fair to say he won't be taking the next one Rodri and Spain unable to hold on to the ball Oh, good play, this. Kane. And on to Bellingham. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And there's the delivery. And he did what he had to do defensively. There uh, may be room here for the counter-attack. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And there's the feed into the box. And that is how to block. Significant. 
Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Declan Rice England looking dangerous has eyes for goal and well, that's easy peasy for the keeper rewarded for that brilliant high press and just one minute of time added on for stoppages stones a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here So into the second half, can England bounce back after that first 45? Useful looking position, you've got to say. Can he get the level? Oh dear, and the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Well, his name and number have been taken as well, Stuart. And quite rightly so. It was a poor challenge. He was right to give a penalty to the referee, and he's right to give the yellow card. An opportunity to level matters. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So, back underway. One goal apiece here. Nico Williams. Trying his luck. And still danger here. And in the end, no damage done. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Oh, he could give it away. Smuggled away. I must say, this looks promising. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Making the substitution now. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw in coming up. England couldn't hang on to the ball. And space available inside. A fine reading of the situation. And into the last 30 minutes now. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Can he find the net? That was going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Good work from England to win back possession. Short it is. Rice. 
Very quick thinking there. Into the final 20 minutes. Now well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. But what can they do to stop him running at them? And it's played into the centre. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. favoured a short one here got to it easily the keeper getting in there to intercept and they could face difficulties here chance to cross racing forward trying to catch them out can they keep it going Fabian must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, it's a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. Chance here. Oh, that's a fine save. Foden. Great effort to keep that one in play. Not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. And there's the feed into the box. And well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, I thought that was the game. Fantastic work by the keeper just to keep them in this. Declan Rice. And teammates around him. Oh, super piece of play. Opportunity here. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. And showing the importance of wit. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. They cannot be separated here. And it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Now, how about the short corner? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Tony. A danger here as he runs at them. It has to be! And the keeper there to deal with it. Now he's given it away. Oh, breezing past him. Takes the shot. And that's a straightforward stop. A very effective challenge put in. Attacking possibilities for England. Can they notch in front? He's blocked it. Superbly read and executed. And does well to keep it in play. A meaty but fair challenge. And it will be a throw in. Shooting from that tight angle, wishing he hadn't bothered. Well, he went for goal, but probably not the right decision, I would say. And they're making a change. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. 
And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, on they go. Second period of extra time is underway. Good ball over the top. Could be a chance to break here. And Spain struggling to keep the ball. This looks promising out wide. Still pushing for a winner. And let's give credit to the defending. Tony. We're using the space really well. Really smart shot, and no advantage for either side here. Now he's kept his team on level terms here. That was a really top class save. Another short corner here. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Well, that would surely have won the game. The keeper's done brilliantly to keep that out. A wonderful goalkeeping moment. Uh, will it... And a great save to keep the scoreline level. Well, that's what you want from your keeper. Big saves at vital times. Taken short. This looks more than decent. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Well, a fantastic final. And it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Job done from the spot. Can he keep his cool? And you've got to sympathise with the goalkeeper. Nearly made the save. And he scores! Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And confidently converted. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Can he convert? So lethal in front of goal. And there it is. Perfectly executed. Oh, he saved it! It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion and a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here.
And now with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate. The trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Spain. What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.